Hey Pisces, this is Soul. And Pisces, this is your uh, bi-weekly messages uh, beginning January 29th, ending February 11th, 2018. The messages will also be for Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising. All right, my fellow fishes, I hope all is well. Um, for some of you I'm about to read for, it looks like uh, there is love in the air. And this may be precipitous to Valentine's Day, okay? So we'll just see. have to see what's going on here. But I like the energy that I'm picking up here uh, for Pisces, especially when the cups show up and it's representing your energy. So the first thing that we have uh, for some of you is uh, either Pisces during this two-week period of time uh, is generous to uh, others or others are being generous towards you. This is the Six of Pentacles in the upright. And it's an offering, okay? So it could come or it can go out from you to someone else and, and that generosity could be returned this um six of uh, pentacles represents um finances money so it could be someone uh you know loans you some money it could be that you loan someone some money uh just being generous okay just being generous but it's a good kind of generous it's a good feeling so if you have to just using this as an example pisces you know someone comes to you and, and, and asks to borrow a couple dollars or whatever it's you're happy about helping that person out okay it's like goodwill intentions same thing applies to someone helping you out as well it would be goodwill intentions um from their energy coming towards you but a two-week period of generosity there is an offer of either some sort of financial you know uh recognition or it, this also could be a job. This could be a job or a promotion, or it could be a, a bonus pay raise, six of uh, pentacles. I, I need to mention that. And then the ace of cups, skipping around, is underneath the six of pentacles. That's the start of a new love or a new beginning in a new relationship. All right? So I don't want to, even though I had started out saying that there's love in the air, that readily is so with the, you know, the, the cards that are showing up here. But this ace represents new beginnings. Uh, it's, it is the ace of cups, so it could represent new beginnings in love, the start of a new relationship, start of a new job. Uh, since it is underneath the six of uh, pentacles, it could be a birth of a child. It could be a, a development of a new friendship. So don't want to stay too exclusive to, you know, uh, love and romance, but it could be the case. Now, swinging back here. Uh, what's coming up next after the Six of Pentacles is the Eight of Wands. I like the Eight of Wands. I always like the Eight of Wands, and it's in the upright position. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, because this energy always uh, comes in for me as uh, news and surprises. And normally, it's related to positive energy. This is good communication between or exchanges with others. This could be in the form of texting, emailing, whatever your uh, communicative uh avenues are okay but i feel that uh because this is a general reading this could be someone has uh ordered something online and this is, represents a package the package is on its way there's no delays it's in the upright uh but i do feel news is i'm sorry news and surprise now whether or not that news or surprise comes in from the uh energy related to the eight of wands representing fire Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female, it really doesn't matter. Following the eight of uh, wands now is the five of wands in the reverse. So I like that. So it's ending of some sort of conflict uh, or battles or struggles, okay, coming to an end, quarreling, arguments, whatever this five of wands in the reverse uh, represents for you, it's coming to an end. And also to the five, just like the 10 is energy to potentially come, but it doesn't stick around. There's always some sort of changes that takes place when the tens and the fives show up. And because the element of the wands represents fire and, and uh, physical movement, it's going to, if you were into any petty arguments or any battles and struggles or doing any battles and struggles with others, is quickly going to come to an end in this next two week period of time all right following the um five of wands is now the three of pentacles in the reverse all right so you know you might have a situation where you know you're working and you know you're supposed to uh, work with someone but you're not getting along so that could be the case of why the three of pentacles 
is showing up in the reverse uh, position. Threes represent love triangles, so it could be someone lost in attraction for someone involving the workplace environment or someone lost in attraction towards you. Uh, someone could have ended a workplace environment affair. Three of Pentacles showing up, but it's usually... Uh, in contrast, getting along and working well with others, okay? But in the reverse, it's the uh, complete opposite. So whatever this Three of Pentacles represents for you. Now, the Pentacles represent, as I forgot to mention with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, and it could be exchanges with those uh, individuals are not all right already spoke about the ace of cups something new is about to begin new love new birth of a child new friendship or new job something new all right and then you have the justice card that follows the ace of cups uh pisces and i forgot to mention too the ace of cups represent not only your energy but that energy of scorpio and uh cancer so it could be you know exchanges with those energies are not justice card in the upright Major Arcana, justice will be served. Any wrongs will be righted, I always say. Uh, justice card represents Libra. Also, to the scales, represent balance. There could be some sort of legal issues going on for you, uh, Pisces, in the next two weeks. Lawyers, judges. But the justice card comes in here to say that if there are, and there's pending situations or uh, litigations or whatever is going on in your personal life, this is in your favor. The justice card in the upright is in your favor, okay? Wrongs are righted. Things become um, balanced again because of the scales, and it's pretty good. Now, what's following the justice card here is the six of cups. This is, you know, possible um, exes trying to reach out. And like I said, this could be, you know, part of Valentine's energy, that exes are trying to recommunicate or reconnect. And also, too, because it represents your energy that you're thinking of someone um, from your past. Now, like I said, this is not an exclusive uh, general love reading. This is a reading for all areas and aspects. This Six of Cups could be just having some sort of a, a you know memorable uh, impact of, you know, like going down memory lane. This could be related to family members. This could be related to friends. Okay, so it could be. That, you know, Pisces is thinking of someone from their past. This also, too, in a two-week period of time could be representing a memorial for someone who has already crossed over. Okay, I, I sometimes pick up that energy and I'm picking it up now. Uh, and it's only because of the... Put these glasses on and make sure I'm calling it right. Yeah, it's the dove. The dove is the uh, sign of peace and uh, eternal... Inter you know, internal stuff, all right? All right, so Six of Cups is in the upright. And again, it could be, you know, uh, past lovers, friends you haven't seen in a long period of time. Maybe it's family members that you haven't seen in a long period of time. If it is part of the energy of memorializing somebody who has crossed over, it may happen in this two-week period of time. And that's not bad. That's pretty good because it's in the upright, okay? But whatever attachment that you had from someone from your past or some sort of energy from your past it brought on the six of cups in the upright this is emotional happiness satisfaction and contentment all right last card that i have for you pisces is the four of cups so again this is you know invitations uh this is now the depiction on this particular four of cups is like a man who is falling into the water and there's two people trying to rescue him but you know my interpretation is the Four of Cups is always a social card. Yeah, your focus might be on if it comes to one love interest, it might be that there's others who are interested in you, but you only got your focus on one. But I feel that it's, you know, you going, uh, you know, getting yourself out and about or being uh, invited out to certain events where there are other people who are there. And if it's, you know comes to a romantic connection that may be the case but I always get the four of cups as a social invitation uh kind of energy all right so this ends your reading and like i said before uh six of uh, pentacles you have the six of pentacles ace of cups six of cups four of cups you have the justice card and then you have uh you know the five of uh wands in the reverse which is good ending of you know pettiness with others and then three, somebody just gives up on an attraction, possibly, or someone ends an affair. It could be uh, work-related or whatever. But 
if it's not anything to do with any affairs or attraction, it could be that you're working with somebody this upcoming two weeks and it might be a project that you have to work with someone on, then they're not getting along with you to try to get that project um, uh, taken care of. So that could be an example. All right. So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. And as always, it's not mandatory or necessary for you to look at your moon sign or your rising signs. Um, with that being said, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead. Always sending you uh, love and light, emphasizing safety. Until I talk to you again, Pisces, please be well. Bye.